Hugo's just magnificent. And Dorothy looks so happy. I love happy endings. It's not a happy ending just yet. So she's still not over it. Sweetheart, you forgot your lunch. <laughs> Thanks. Now listen, hon. I'm gonna be home a little late tonight. I'm going on a picnic. Whitney's decided to take the afternoon off, and we're going to the park. That'll be nice. Unless, of course, you'd like to come, too. Three's a crowd. Well, be sure. Who's Whitney? Dad's golf partner. How long has that been going on? The golf? Get real, Carol. You could have gone, too. Picnics aren't my thing. Be happy for him. He's got a girlfriend. I don't think it's like that. Why so touchy, then? I'm not touchy. Starlight and I just need a good gallop. She's touchy, Lisa. When I'm looking to your eyes To tell you what's on my mind With no words at all Away so quickly when we spend it together. When we're apart, it feels like forever. Red like the wind, two spirits together. Being free, roaming wherever. The faster you'll go, the tighter I'll hold you. Across the fields and streams, you're always in my dreams. Are you from Pine Hollow? Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to take him home, straight home. Why? Who are you? Uh, the name's Harding. I'm from the Disease Control Centre. There's been an outbreak of equine virus just down the road. Are you serious? Well, we've had to put down several horses already. <sighs> but it's under control now, right? Normally, we could confine it without a problem. But this time, I'm afraid it's possible Pine Hollow is already infected. Choice. One of the horses from the infected property is stable to you now. An infected horse is here? But none of our horses are showing any symptoms of anything. Uh, not yet, but it may be carrying the virus without getting sick itself. I've heard of that. If it is, it will spread the infection like wildfire. So which horse are we talking about? The imported French one. Hugo. That's right. It's impossible. You reckon? Do you remember those conditions that loser Gus had him in? He could have caught anything in that dump. But Hugo is vaccinated. Then I'm sure he'll be fine, Darte. Yeah, chill a bit. Hugo's a very fit horse. He'll pull through. But I did not want people think my horse is to blame. That is not fair. Did you find anything? Oh, they all seem fine to me. I knew it. We'll have to wait for the results of the tests. Dr. Judy, what did they say they have got the virus? The virus causes neurological problems. If the horse has got it, then he's a danger to himself and the other horses. He'll have to be put down. No, that's awful. Let's just take it one step at a time, shall we? Hey, you two. What's up? 
Bring Comanche back to the stables. How come? The vet wants to check him. What? Oh, come on, hurry up. OK, you don't have to shout. Sorry. What are you so stressed about? I'll tell you on the way. Anyway, you shouldn't be in here. Look at all this fresh mowed grass. If he eats any of that, he'll be sorry. This is not happening. What are we going to do about it? What can we do? If there was some way we could help the horses, we could keep an eye on them at least. So if any gets sick, we can call Dr. Judy right away. We can keep watch overnight. Bring our sleeping bags up here. Great idea. Oh, I've got my clarinet lesson. Mum will go ballistic if I miss it. Maybe you better go. I should, but the horses are at stake. What about you? Will your dad be cool? He'll be fine. He'll enjoy the peace and quiet without me around. Perfect. There's no problem. Come on, team. Everybody grab their stuff and we'll meet back here. Since you've thought of it, I vote we generously let you pay for the pizza. <laughs> to my horse. Love watched what Mrs. Reg did. She gave me a book of instructions and this is a general pick-me-up. It's a waste of time. Mrs. Reg knew what she was doing. Wouldn't you rather Garnet stayed healthy? Of course I would. And what's the best way to do that? Oh, well, I'm sure that you're going to tell me. Stick Hugo in quarantine where he can keep his germs to himself. Why hasn't it been done already, I'd like to know. If the disease was here already, putting Hugo in quarantine wouldn't help, would it? <sighs> well, I don't care. If anything happens to Garnet, I'm sure Daddy will sue. Maybe the test results will come back negative. Yeah, maybe, but we have to face facts. If Hugo was on that property, he's been exposed to the infection. And that means... Well... It could mean the end of Pine Hollow. Don't say that. There's nothing I can do about it. You've done everything you could have. Oh, yeah, sure. All the horses are vaccinated, the stables are kept hygienic. And what good did it do us? Can we take Diamond Penny for a ride? I'm afraid not. It's not like they're sick or anything. It's not as simple as that, girls. But they really want to go, you can tell. And so do we. And we wouldn't take them far, just along the trail. It's not up to me. To direct you from the disease centre. There's nothing I can do about it, I'm sorry. Let's do shifts. Anyone want to go first? Me. I have to ring home soon anyway. Mum says. I'll go last then. I don't have to ring anyone. Your dad might like it if you called. He's not there. He's gone to the movies while the going's good with Whitney. Hey, you can't blame him. Who'd want to go on their own? There's good news and not so good news. The good news is there are no definite signs of infection at Pine Hollow. Well, are there any indefinite ones? No, that's the not so good part. The tests were inconclusive. Yeah, so, so what's that mean? Uh, well, it means I'm pretty sure your horses are clear of infection, but I can't give them a clean bill of health yet. I'm afraid there'll have to be more tests. I've come back to take more samples. Oh. You're joking. Can the girls at least ride again? So, how'd the lesson go? Surprise, surprise. Dorothy said I was doing well. Yeah, the disease control dudes weren't sure if the 
Oh no. Oh please no. Oh no. I should have done something. How could you have? I should have called Dr. Judy when I noticed something. It's what we were here for. I suppose I was afraid. Afraid he was sick. Look, don't panic, Kay. It might not be the virus. But what else could it be? Let's just go get Max and get some help here. He'll have Comanche put down. If we get help right away, maybe he's got a chance. Maybe there's something they can do. But you saw how sick he is. Listen, you stay here and look after Comanche. I want him to see the sky again. What? It's so unfair. And I owe him that much. Stevie, you're not thinking straight. If he's got the infection, he's got to stay put. He loves those trails. And he'll never see them again. Forget it, Stevie. You stay here and look after him, and I'll get Max and Dr. Judy, all right? I don't know where she's taken him. We think she's hacking along one of the trails, but we can't be sure which one. Yeah, well, I didn't know. If I had a book, well, yeah. I How could you be so reckless? No. She loves Comanche. We all do. Wait, guys. So she rides him and risks giving the infection to any horse she meets. How irresponsible is that? Very, but she's not thinking with her head. She's doing what Comanche would want. And that makes it right? No. I'd have done the same thing. Me too. Then you're as crazy as she's. I say we go look for her. No, don't, Phil. Let Comanche have his moment. You love this place, don't you, boy? We had our best times here. You and me. It'll always be ours. So irresponsible. She will be doing mucking out duties for a month. Incredible. I need hardly point out what this is doing to Pine Hollow's reputation. It was an accident. It couldn't be helped. It can now. This, this is Louis O'Reilly. Mr. O'Reilly is a professional shooter. Oh, no. He and I will track down this Comanche, and then Mr. O'Reilly will... <laughs> ..will do what has to be done. You wouldn't. You won't feel a thing, darling. But it's not fair. There must be another way. Please. At least let Dr. Judy try. I'm sorry, it's too late for that. But the kids, you'll break their hearts. Look, I don't like this any more than you, but I have wider responsibilities to the environment, <laughs> and I have to see those responsibilities are met.
It's all your fault, you know. Get lost. How could you be so stupid? She did it because she cares. So she gets away with being dumb because she cares? I don't think so. I'd say she showed a lot of courage. Come on, she would thank her. <sighs> You're just as irresponsible as Stevie, Dorothy. Who can blame her for doing something for love? Yeah. Right. You've really gone downhill since you made friends with the Saddle Club, Dorothy. Thanks. Pick up. Dad, pick up. This is the Hanson residence. We Where can't are you? Home, so please leave a message after the beep. Things are really bad here. Looks like Comanche's gonna be put down. I wish I could talk to you. He's not sick, is he? Oh, no, I don't think so. But that's the funny thing. Well, what do you mean? I've got to think, how come only one horse, Comanche, is sick? I see what you're saying. It's a really contagious virus. How did Comanche get it when none of the other horses have? Exactly. Are you saying it's something else entirely? You spent time with Comanche yesterday. Red said you had Comanche yesterday. Did he seem okay? He was fine. Did he sweat up? Only after he'd been working for a while. Was he off his feed? No way. He ate... What? Did he eat something bad? Well, actually... You know the bottom paddock? It's empty because Red mowed it. Did Comanche eat the mowed grass? Yes. Then maybe all he's got is colic. That's brilliant. Come on, we've got to find them before the shooter finds Comanche. He went that way. Which way? The valley trail was always his favorite. Start there. There he is. Right down the bottom of that gully there. <laughs> Too far for a clean shot, though. He's moving. Yeah. He knows. We'll follow him along this ridge track. No. Right there. That's it. You should go help him look. Take you go. Take, you go. You should go. I can ride him on the flat, but I'm not ready to jump him. Are you sure you don't mind? Go, it'll be good for him. Close enough? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! 
What the? This is all we need. There's Comanche! <laughs> There's the shooter! No! Don't shoot him! Comanche, we thought we'd be too late. I can't drive her a shot now. It's too dangerous. You girls are in big trouble. It's not what you think. He doesn't have the virus. I want you to ride down there this instant and get your friends away from the horse. Listen to me. Comanche is not sick. Wait. Oh, who's this? It's all a mistake. Comanche is sick from eating fresh mowed grass. My stupid sister let him. She didn't know. What? It's just colic. You got into a paddock I just mowed. Just, just slow down. <coughs> we'll have to keep the horse isolated till it confirms it's just colic. Yeah! He's safe. He's OK. Oh, Comanche, it's all over. You're safe. I got your message. Weren't you going to play golf with Whitney? I was, but I came to see if you needed me. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you know you're my number one girl, right? <laughs> Max, is everything under control? Absolutely perfect, thanks. From now on, I'll make sure Red locks the paddock gates after he mows. Is he back yet? He's coming. Wasted on the flat. Jumps like a dream. Have a go, Dorote. No, I I can't.